Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Rescue Digital Media. Today I am here with 6 quick methods to fix semaphore timeout period has expired error Windows 10. But before we get started, like, subscribe and ring the bell icon to notified when our new video lands. Error code 0 by 80,070,079 semaphore timeout period has expired error occurs on Windows when you are transferring files between external drives or local networks. The semaphore timeout period has expired error occurs due to corruption of the source or target's file system, physically damaged drive, bad sectors on drive, transfer of large files, outdated network drivers. Now, let's move on to fix this with 6 best fixes. Solution 1. Running SFC Scan If the error was caused by damaged, missing, or corrupt files, you can resolve it by running scans through the SFC. Here are the steps to follow. Open the Run dialog box by pressing Windows key plus R on your keyboard. Inside the Run dialog box, type CMD, no quotes. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter to launch an elevated form of command prompt. Once command prompt is up, type, SFC slash scan now, no quotes, then press Enter. Wait for the SFC to scan your computer for problematic files. Once the process is complete, follow the on-screen instructions to resolve the error. Solution 2. Convert FAT32 to NTFS. The transfer of a large file is another probable cause to generate the semaphore timeout period has expired error. So, try converting FAT32 to NTFS. Here are the steps to be followed. Right-click on the drive or local disk on Windows. Choose the Format option, and pick the NTFS option. Tap the Quick Format button, and proceed with the file transfer again. Solution 3. Disable Firewall and Antivirus Temporarily During a file transfer, the firewall and the antivirus program can block the process. Therefore, disable the functions for a certain period. To disable them temporarily, follow the instructions below. Launch Control Panel Choose the Windows Defender Firewall option to proceed. From the left panel options, Tap the Turn Windows Defender Firewall On or Off option. The following window disables the Turn Off Windows Defender Firewall option under the Customize Settings section. Solution 4. Clean Boot Your PC This will ensure that any third-party program isn't preventing data transfer or hindering the communication between the drives. Follow the steps to clean boot. Press Windows plus R to launch Run Dialog. Type MS config in the Run dialog box that opens and press Enter. Select Services tab. Check the Hide All Microsoft Services checkbox and press Enter. Click Disable All. Click Apply. And then click OK. Restart the system to see if the issue is resolved. Solution 5. Update your wireless network adapters USB drivers. If there is something wrong with your network adapters, the best way to fix them is to update their drivers. Here are the steps. Launch the Run dialog box by pressing Windows key plus R on your keyboard. Inside the Run dialog box, type devmgm.msc, then click OK. Once the device manager is up, expand the contents of the network adapters category. Right-click your network adapter, then select Update Driver. On the new window, select the Search Automatically for Updated Driver Software option. Once the update process is complete, restart your computer. Solution 6. Removing HDD Entries The error code 0 by 80,070,079 may prevent you from using your HDD normally. So, remove old entries of external drives to fix the error. Here are the steps, go to your taskbar, then right-click the Windows icon. 
select device manager from the list. Now, click the Universal Serial Bus Controllers category to expand its contents. Go through the list of devices and check if your HDD is there. If you see an old entry of your HDD, right-click it, then select Disable Device. That's all. Hope you liked this video. Thanks of watching.